Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 119, Fundamental Statistics, Section 9.2, Problem 1. This is Section 9.2, Problem 1. It says, in order to construct a confidence interval when we don't know the population standard deviation, determine the correct degrees of freedom to use for each of the following sample sizes. So Part A, if the sample size is 11, the number of degrees of freedom would be one less. It would be 10. B, if the sample size is 19, the number of degrees of freedom would be one less. It would be 18. Part C, if the sample size is 35, the number of degrees of freedom would be one less. It would be 34. And finally, Part D, if the sample size is 26, the number of degrees of freedom would be one less. It would be 25. And again, this is the system we use if we do not know the population standard deviation when we make a confidence interval. If we know the population standard deviation, you don't need to figure out degrees of freedom.